Hi all, I have another amazing trap for your chess traps toolkit to show you today. So this is with the black pieces. This is in the Ryan Lopez. So I'd like to say a big thank you to James jo James Mortimer. So he lived between 1832 and 1911. So according to Wiki, there's a great article on him. He was an American born British chess player, journalist and playwright. He wrote two best-selling chess books published in London. He is the eponym of the Mortimer Defence in the Rye Lopez and the related Mortimer Trap and the Mortimer Frazier attack in the Evans Gambit. So a very interesting character to check out. Let's have a look at his legacy trap, E4 from White. You play E5, classical, knight F3, knight C6, bishop B5, the Spanish game or the Rye Lopez. And now you play the dreaded Berlin defense, which is totally in vogue right now, and is the reason why many super grandmasters are not playing 1e4 anymore. It's thought to be super solid, especially in the variations which allow black to take on e4. Your opponent may have been influenced by Magnus Colson games, and he has often been playing often been playing d3 here, protecting that pawn, uh, stopping those variations with knight takes e4. The thing is, you'll note here that the king is still in the centre. Now, in the art of war, it says it indicates really that the best fighters they put themselves beyond the feats before going on the attack, because otherwise, sometimes the attacks just backfire. In chess, it's similarly uh, a good advice usually to castle before doing any active operations, because they are likely to backfire if you have uh, a weakness. Uh, you know, there sometimes is a way to make that apparently theoretical weakness quite exploitable, especially when it comes to king safety. So here, white leaves the king in the center, and black actually plays a rather cheeky move, which isn't that bad in its own right. Knight e7 with the idea of going to g6. And this is, you know, getting a knight on f4 is quite a dangerous piece, and you could follow up with this. Uh, move with a dark square strategy in general. However, your opponent might think, especially if this is a bullet or blitz game, that you've just blundered a pawn on e5 because the whole point of playing d3 was to protect this, so there's no return capture on e4. So why is this pawn hanging, you might ask. So a very, very cheeky move, knight e7. However, be bear in mind the white king has not castled, and after knight takes e5, there's actually a very, very nasty shock in this position. I wonder if you can guess the next move if I give you 10 seconds. What does black play here? Okay. Also, this is a an unprotected piece and they tend to fall off sometimes. C6, gaining a key tempo and opening up the queen here. Now, say the bishop goes to C4. Now, can you see what black plays in this position? If I give you 10 seconds here, what would you play with the black pieces? Okay, I hope you spotted it. Queen a5 check. Yes, really punishing that the king's still in the center. This check picking up the knight in broad daylight after knight c3, queen takes e5. Now, I'm a bit cautious of uh, ending this particular variation. There's one or two to show you as well, but I, I'm a bit cautious of ending it here, saying it's all rosy, because white does have a tempo gainer. And so I've checked this out for you. Probably the best is queen c7. And if white tries to make use of these pawns, you can see that the d6 square is highlighted. Uh, so it's not over till it's over. Knight fd5, knight e4, and all of a sudden, hold on a sec. You have to defend d6. You can do that with knight f5. So the bishop is now controlling d6. You are a piece up. And you can reinforce that knight on f5. And here, probably best is d6 and then aim to castle queenside. And here, you're less controversially a piece up, in my view. I've, I've done some research, and a lot of videos don't really go into this final position. But for me, yeah, there is a being a little bit nerdy about the downsides there is there is some you know issue with d6 which because of this tempo gainer when you when you won this piece 
<laughs> Probably a lot of people are losing games after that. Then try and castle queenside and, and seal up the f5 square like that. So this is an important, I think, consideration. If g4 here, you can pounce into e3 and then play queen b6 and you should be absolutely fine taking on c4. And this is absolutely fine. You can uh, castle kingside later, I believe, quite safely. And then d5, the king's exposed still. The white king is exposed. Now earlier, also, let's have a look. Instead of bishop c4, you have to be aware of this potential issue. White could be tricky here with knight c4. Now you shouldn't really take here. I wonder if you can spot why. What does white play? Okay, it would be embarrassing knight d6 checkmate. But you can still win a piece, believe it or not, here by playing d6 because the bishop hasn't got that many moves. And now after bishop a4, b5. And you're picking up a piece here, and this is far less controversial than the other way of picking up a piece. Uh, let's have a look also uh, if after c6 instead of bishop c4, be aware that after bishop a4 you have queen a5 check. But if they do play c3, don't be so quick to take on a4. They've just protected <laughs> a4. Just take on e5. Yes, keep your wits about you when you play this trap. Okay, so to recap, yeah, the opening moves. So e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5. You don't play in the more classical a6 tradition, more this Berlin defense, which is totally in vogue. They protect their pawn, and you kind of react by unprotecting your e5 pawn. It's something to really bear in mind, and to be honest, it doesn't really occur to me this trap. Uh, I play a lot of speed chess. I think it's good revision these traps to check them out and know how to cope with the act of winning the piece, the, the aftermath of winning the piece to make sure you're not going to get zapped. So 97, it's a very, very interesting trap trying to set the bait. Knight takes e5, c6. Very, very interesting. Hope you got something out of this. Please let me know if you win a few online games of it. That'd be great. Yeah, post your wins in the comments. And if you want to challenge me for a correspondence game or turnstile game, uh, check out kingscrusher.tv or bit.ly slash chessworld. If you register there, I'll be able to invite you for a game shortly after. Uh, there's also my playlist bit.ly slash leela chess, bit.ly slash stockfish chess. And there's also a suave chat from uh, kingscrusher TV slash discord to check out. Okay, comments, questions, like, share, subscribe with the notification bell, all appreciated. Thanks very much.